What's up guys, it's Johnny O with Tito Tech TV and today we're going to look at using OBS to capture your Nintendo 3DS gameplay. So in my last video I showed you guys how to set up uh, NTR viewer uh, via the NTR CFW on your 3DS. Um, so prerequisite to that is going to be having your 3DS uh, homebrewed and uh, custom firmware installed on it. Uh, so I'll put cards up uh, in the top right hand corner of this video here with links to uh, both of those videos as well as in the description below so you guys can get that set up. So once you've got uh, custom firmware and NTR installed on your 3DS then you'll want to use this Nitro Stream app here and OBS to actually either record or stream or both um, the gameplay that you want to capture. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down uh, over here to this scenes pane and hit the plus button and add a new scene. We're going to call it 3DS. Um, and I'm going to include a download link in the description below to OBS. And um, I'm not going to do any basic setup instructions in this video. Uh, if you guys are interested in an additional video showing you how to do the basic setup of OBS uh, so that you can get to this point and actually record your 3DS gameplay, uh, hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and create that video and post it for you as well. Um, so once we've got this new scene created, we're going to go over here to Sources, and we want to add a new image source. Um, because when I'm doing 3DS gameplay, I don't like just putting the uh, 3DS screens just straight on the on the screen. I like to kind of class it up a little bit with an overlay. Uh, so I'm just going to load up a really simple example overlay here of something like what I would do. Uh, so I would have this black box would be my top screen, my bottom screen here. This orange background would be some sort of background image or something related to uh, the gameplay that kind of has some meaning to uh, the content that I'm creating with this. And then also a title or a logo up here to go along with it. Again, probably like the game logo or, or something like that. So once you guys have got that set up, the next thing you want to do is get the um, audio inputs configured. Uh, I'm not going to actually uh, load any audio into this <laughs> from the 3DS because I don't want to risk anything with um, copyright flags uh, and so when we're talking about copyright Nintendo is extremely strict on um, their gameplay footage and what you're allowed and not allowed to monetize uh, so I'll put a link down in the description below to Nintendo's site uh, their back page for what you're allowed to monetize on YouTube as far as I can tell streaming they don't really pay much attention to so if you're doing like um, Twitch stream you shouldn't have to worry about it too much as far as I can tell there's no actual partnership program with Twitch and Nintendo so you should be fine with that um, if you do want to monetize your gameplay videos on YouTube for 3DS gameplay, or for Nintendo 3DS gameplay, or any Nintendo gameplay at all really, then you'll want to sign up for the uh, Nintendo Creator uh, Program. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description as well, so you guys, if you're interested, you can get signed up. Um, there's a very limited number of Nintendo games that you can actually uh, record and monetize under the program, um, but it at least gives you something. So, let's go ahead and work on uh, getting our audio set up. So, we'll do in our first scenario here, first audio input capture we're going to create. So, again, hit that plus, select audio input capture, hit OK, and then we're going to configure it. And so, we'll do headset microphone, right? So, that would be if we're running a headset, we want to capture um, our own voice audio over top of the gameplay, commentary, anything like that. We want to add that in. And then we're going to want to capture audio input from the 3DS. So what I do is I use a USB uh, headset with a mic to capture my voice audio. So to capture my 3DS sound, I actually have a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio jack that's male to male. And so I plug that into my front line in or mic in, uh, however it's labeled on your computer um, jack on the front of my PC case. And then the other end of it, I plug into the audio jack on the 3DS. So that allows me to actually capture the audio output from the 3DS onto my PC. Because the NTR capture is only, only going to capture video, not audio. Um, so we'll add an additional audio input capture. Click OK. And you're just going to select line in, which would be my front audio jack. And then that's how I would actually capture the audio coming in to the PC from the 3DS. So for this next step, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and connect the 3DS. So one thing I do want to cover that I didn't really cover in um, the NTR setup video is if you're going to go ahead and record a game capture, so in this case I'm just going to record my home screen 
um, just to keep from any of the copyright issues, hopefully. <laughs> the uh, So what you want to do if you're trying to capture a game is actually launch the game first and then press the home button to suspend the title and bring you back to the home menu. Um, connect with NTR and then press home on your 3DS to resume the game and then you should be kicked into um, you should be kicked into the NTR stream on your PC with no issues. Uh, if you're trying to do a Pokemon game or some Zelda games, um, try just connecting how I've described first. If that doesn't work, then you're going to want to go ahead and do this send memory patch before you connect and then connect. Um, and if you actually go over it does tell you that some games, like your Time, Pokemon, etc., um, can disable streaming when launched from the home menu. So that may fix that for you as well. Alright, so you can see here. I have my top and bottom screens both scaled to two times their size. Um, that's just to make it a little bit easier for me to actually um, get them sized properly for my windows here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. I'm going to say yes to that pop-up that comes up. And you'll see almost instantaneously I've got my stream, my game capture here. And you see the quality settings. It's actually doing pretty good right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to scene or sources hit the plus to add another source and we're going to do a window capture so we do ok and so you see we get this window capture and automatically picks up into our viewer as the active window we're going to say ok and we're going to add a second window capture so this is how we're going to capture the top and bottom screens separately ok so we're going to want to select the 3DS footage here in the stream, right click it, go to transform, and edit transform, and then because the 3DS screen's vertical resolution on each of them is 240 uh, pixels, we're going to go ahead and, and this is at two times the resolution, we're going to go ahead and crop from the top by 480 pixels, and that'll go ahead and take the whole top screen off of that stream and show us just the bottom screen. And since the bottom screen is narrower than the top screen, uh, what we'll actually have to do is crop the left and right, I believe. Uh, again, since we're at double the resolution, if we crop 80 pixels, yeah, so 80 pixels off left and right. We'll actually bring this one down to size as well. So we'll go ahead and close that. And we can drag this down here. And so this point is just a matter of getting everything lined up right and then grabbing the corner and resizing it to fit Oops. so then we'll grab the other stream from NTR right click transform edit transform this one's a little simpler we're just going to do 480 pixels off from the bottom and we'll close that line it up and stretch it to fit and there you go guys so that's basically yeah that's how you set it up and you'll see I can go ahead and arrow through things here and I've got no issues everything's streaming very nicely and so I could hit start record right now and just start recording gameplay um, so go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other tutorials like this you guys want to see. Do you want to see me, uh, how to do a basic setup on OBS? Um, just the basic configuration settings to get up and running with it. Uh, you know, I think you guys just playing documentation out there. It's, just, it's pretty straightforward once you launch it for the first time. But um, if you've never used anything like this before, it could be a little daunting not knowing exactly where in the menus to go. Uh, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, once you get all this set up, you can just hit start recording and record your gameplay footage, uh, do any editing you need to, and then post it up to YouTube, or do start streaming, you just stream it live to Twitch or YouTube. Um, so go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and go ahead and check out some of my other tech videos that I've done on the channel uh, that are maybe not so much 3DS related. Maybe you'll find something interesting there as well. Uh, until next time, guys, it's Johnny O, signing off.